thing. You might walk us through what the concept of this product actually is for us. Yeah, absolutely. So it's called Hands On Magnets and it is a tool for parents to help them keep their kids beside the car where they can see them and safe once they unload them from the car. So any parent who has a couple of kids knows that that time when you're taking kids out of the car, it's so stressful for you and it can be really dangerous for kids if you're in a car park or on the side of the road. And what often happens is you take the first guy out, you lean in to get the second child out of the car and by the time you've come back out again, the first guy is wandering off. So this is a really simple tool. It's just a magnet. It's about just, I suppose for your listeners, it's the size of a CD, um, a really colourful magnet, a vehicle grade ma- magnet that you pop on the side of the car. And when you pop it on, you say hands on. And each magnet has a little character. So there's two characters, hands on Holly and hands on Harry. Um, a little girl and a boy and they have their hand out stretched and it's the same size as a little child's hand. So effectively your child is just giving the magnet a high five. So giving the little character a high five and that's where they wait. What I thought was interesting about this is that, you know, uh, like all good products, uh, you came up with an idea, then you listened to feedback, then you tweaked it, you changed it, yeah. you perfected it. And the interesting thing here is that there's two sort of consumers. There's a parent and there's a child and it needs to work for both. So maybe just walk me through the through through your thinking Absolutely, on that. Absolutely, yeah. And so I came up with the idea because I have three little boys and I was just dealing with this every single day. So I knew then what I needed as a parent, but I didn't know what kids needed because, you know, I wasn't experiencing what they were experiencing. I didn't know what they needed, to, what was going to work for them. So first of all, I went out and talked to parents, talked to other parents to find out what they were doing. Um, and everybody had some different little tricks. So they might say, look, touch the light, touch the handle, touch the side of the car. Um, but they, what, all, what they all had in common was they all had a story of something, you know, the danger, the stress and all that kind of thing. Um, so I talked to the parents, then I talked to the kids and tried to understand what it was would work for them. So initially I came up with a prototype. Now, this was a real kind of a, this was a piece of paper where I, pr- I did up a design, a mock up. I cut it out. I laminated it. I stole magnets from my kids, those ones you get with instant smoothies and stuck them on the back. And then I gave that to mums and I said, look, will you try this out and see what you think, see what comes out of it? Um, and there was really good feedback that came back there. And that's, I suppose, where I came up with the little monster characters, because originally I had a little boy and a little girl. And the feedback from parents was, look, my kids don't like them. They don't like that kid. The yeah. kid isn't like them or the hair a different colour or whatever so from that I was able to kind of you know work out my design on it Now you're, you're the, the other thing I liked about it is that this has been manufactured in Tala is yeah. that right? Yeah. Which is again lovely to see so and were you committed to a big run of them in terms of the, your opening stock? No and I suppose I couldn't have afforded that yeah. because this was just this was an idea that I had and because it was a new concept who knew whether it was going to work or not and I had to get it out there and get parents using a real product and get insights from that to be able to create the packaging and everything like that so I was really lucky in that I came across a guy up in Tala called Trevor Hall and now he's a big print house like he's wrapping planes for, for various airlines so he you know shouldn't really be doing these magnets but he actually just I told him the idea and he said look I love it and I love new ideas Isn't and I want to give you a chance. great that he is? Absolutely so he gave me a go where he just did a really small run for me and that I was able to go again then get the insights back from the parents and then go again and build up the volume. Now what about product extensions from this because this is often the trick that when you come up with something um, again and in terms of, I suppose, future proofing it, you need to come up with other derivatives. That exactly, so, yeah. is there a is there a family of these, or what? What are the likely product extensions? Yeah, and I suppose the exciting thing is this is evolving. Um, before I was even going to try and make product extensions, and what was happening was both parents who were using it at home started to take the magnet and put blue tack on the back and use it around their home. So let's say a mum in a kitchen where she needs the kids away from her when she's pouring a kettle or pouring boiling water, she was putting uh, like stick the magnet with blue tech on the wall on the other side of the kitchen um, and different uses around the house so I came up then with a sticker version of this and then even more interestingly um, from a business point of view I started to see opportunities there so we're stocked in Giddy Studios in Dundrum Town Centre and Helena who runs Giddy um, really supportive girl and she kind of had this problem where because they're in a car park the parents when they're leaving with their kids there was a really high risk of kids bolting out the door after they're in So there's a kind of a, a, a holding area where, where, is, where your yeah. product is so exhibited. She, yeah, so she used the magnets there on the wall again with blue tack. so I said no no this should be we need to use stickers so now it's actually getting really exciting on the sticker it's a, an outdoor sticker so you can use it anywhere so it's just about using the hands on concept um, in all sorts of different areas and I'm talking to car manufacturers and then also looking at getting it into car parks so when you're a parent and you're at the pay station that's another 
the really high risk time because you're focused on the pay station while you're paying and at that time you've got these excited kids who could be going anywhere so if the hands on habit is applied to all of these different areas then kids just get used to staying in a safe spot Finally then, uh, where where can one get it and how much does it cost? Well, at the moment, it's mamasmarts.com and then as I said, we're in Giddy Studios and then we've just gone into Pip and Pumpkin in Mullingar um, and it's a tenner um, for one magnet and then you can get multi-packs and there is 20% off this week for Road Safety Week. There you go. And uh, and you're a former management consultant. I am. I left that life after I had my third child and I just thought, you know what, right now this isn't for me but um, it's given me an amazing toolkit to be able to take this product and just run with it from well, there. Well, well done to you. You've got great energy. This is a lovely product. It's creative. It does what it says and I think it will feel a need, uh, fill a need, particularly in the area of child safety, which is absolutely important. So, well done to you, uh, Jean McNamara, and good luck uh, with the hands-on magnets. Thanks a million. Up next, I go walking with the uh, Irish hockey coach, uh, Graham Shaw, uh, on Dunleary Pier, no less. Stay tuned. Down to business on Newstalk with Electric Ireland.